What's going on everybody? It's Joe the Lawnmower. I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys here today. It's probably a little bit windy, but we're going to do a quick little mow video for you guys. So let's get started. So we're out here today at my house. I got my son over here. He is using the Toro electric or battery lawnmower, as you can see right there. This thing is so cool. Hopefully you guys can hear me over it. It's, it is pretty quiet, uh, but this thing is so cool. He's only five years old. He just turned five in February and it's so lightweight as you can see, like he's having no problems at all. Uh, you know, it's obviously self propelled, but he's having no problems for the most part with it. Take your time, all right? He just loves doing this. And what I, what's so great about the, uh, the battery is it's a lot, the weight is obviously it's a lot more lightweight than uh, a regular gas motor on it. So that's really a great benefit of that. And um, as you can see, he's doing a pretty good job. So I'm gonna walk over here so I can talk to you guys. So we picked up this at Home Depot, I would say a couple months ago, I was on clearance. Uh, it's the older model, but it really looks exactly like the newer model. But we got it on clearance for, it was like 200 bucks. Um, which was a steal. Uh, the battery alone on those are almost $200. Uh, so I'm really glad that I got it. He is messing around right now. So I got up, up back one second. So it is really windy out here today. We're on the side of the house right now. As you can see, the lawn overall filled in really great. Is there weeds and things like that? Yes. Uh, there's some di different, I really don't know what it is. Um, but we're probably gonna spray this stuff out hopefully on Monday It's just been so windy and so cold that I've been waiting to spray some of these weeds out uh, You know, especially with the wind you don't obviously want to really spray when it's windy You guys, you know, you see my TikToks where somebody does spray uh, Some weed control when it's really windy out and you really shouldn't do that especially with herbicides so we will probably be spraying that hopefully on monday temperatures are starting to finally cool or no, i shouldn't say cool they're starting to finally get a little bit warmer um but just a fun little weekly mow right here uh, i probably haven't cut this probably probably in over a week now uh it, you know the growth is there um but obviously you know where those temps those temps are still low you know and hopefully it gets warmer here in new jersey and we could start cutting this maybe twice a week instead of once a week and really, really thicken this lawn up. But overall, super happy. Color's there, looks good. All right, Joe, show everybody how you turn this on. Not easy, right? And how do you go? Oh man, what, what are you doing, hopping? So my son is very fortunate that we have this mower. Me growing up, my dad had a lawn business, so we always had big commercial lawnmowers. Uh, he always had a 36 inch uh, X Mark Metro, and I didn't learn how to really cut a grass until I got older. And I probably was probably 13 or 14 when I started learning how to use. He had a pistol grip uh, X Mark, by the way, and uh, <laughs> it was a it was hard. You know, um, we always used to practice on big lawns. Uh, and you know get used to myself comfortable and things like that so it's really awesome to see my son with this little llama right here really lightweight like i said and he's having a really great time so that's all that's all that really matters at the end of the day so when we first started out he did this side already uh this side is my favorite piece of my lawn it always looks great it's super thick looks good it might not show up on the camera right now because of the, the sunlight um, but overall this looks really great it's thickening up could it be uh, a little bit better yeah of course there are some spots um i do have poa i'm gonna have to deal with that at some point I'm not sure how but we'll see what happens i did put a flagpole in you guys probably have seen that in some of my tiktoks and some of my uh, videos my earlier videos from this year obviously got the american flag just so you guys know ukraine and the bottom flag I'm gonna leave it up to you guys and put it in the comment section. What do you think that bottom flag is there? And uh, what country that came from? 
Um, so leave that in the comment section. I'm just curious to see if you got anybody knows what that flag is. So that's it. That's it for today's video. We're gonna finish up hopefully cutting soon. Um, he's trying, I'm trying to teach him the concept of going up and back, but yeah, it's a little bit hard right now, but we'll get there. Just a quick video for you guys today, show you what we're doing in the yard. It's Friday, it feels good. It's been a long week at work. So I'm gonna finish this up with him. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And if you have any questions or concerns on today's video, leave them in the comment section below. And again, if you're, I really wanna know, if anyone knows what that flag is, I'd be very curious. That'd be pretty awesome if someone could figure that out. Leave that in that comment section. And just to remind everybody, I do have an Instagram. I do have a TikTok. My TikTok is a lot of fun. Uh, if you're in for a good laugh, go check it out. I'll leave that link below. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. And that's it.